It was the day when the arts met green at the historic Rincón Criollo Garden in the South Bronx. Hosted by Progonis Puerto Rican Travel and Theater, this was the fifth series of the Stage Garden Rumba, which brought together artists answering the question of, what makes our South Bronx boogie? We've been touring the South Bronx with different acts of artists who are gathering with activists and community members to talk about the Bronx and the things that matter to us. What makes them special, what makes this garden special is the fact that it's community members that take care of it and have claimed these spaces as spaces of, uh, of where we can get to challenge who we are and get to know each other and propose new things for our community. And the gardens become the perfect place, meeting place for that kind of activism to take place. Well, this particular garden has been here since the 1970s at a time, as we know, of disinvestment in the Bronx, right? And which folks associate uh, with the period when the Bronx was burning. But in reality, places like uh, Rincón Criollo, Casita de Chema, and the Soto, Soto family uh, we're doing what we're doing today, right? We're organizing, we're showcasing the arts and culture, we're bringing the community together, uh, we're doing all ages events, uh, and it was a struggle for them to keep their, their space afloat, but they're still here today, and so we're doing that in the spirit uh, that they've been embodying since the 1970s here. We also have had a big history of summer tours in the public spaces and in the parks, but especially uh, uh, nurturing the legacy of, of Puerto Rican traveling theater. Uh, it's a summer tour that for 40 years also performed outdoors, and so we, we wanted to sort of continue that, but deepen its meaning by going to very specific spaces, and the tradition of the gardens and the tradition of the casitas in our community is so strong, and, and we thought this is like the perfect way of doing this. I'm thrilled. I was so happy to been invited to participate to read my poetry which is about the Bronx so I'm looking forward to that I'm a Norwood resident and I've never been to Casa de Chema so I'm really embracing the garden the greenery the vibrancy the history and the culture that's been preserved for us and future generations I'm from the Bronx and uh, my parents are Puerto Rican so I'm Puerto Rican and um, I want to present poetry that asks questions about where we're from as Boricuas, as human beings. I write poetry that's sort of beyond, it's not just one civilization or one culture, it's humanity. So I want to kind of bring people together in that way. There may be new buildings going up all around this garden, but with the loyalty of its community, Rincón Criollo is here to stay as a home to those who will have it. For Bronxnet, I'm Veronica Guiti.